CompTIA Network Plus N10-009 Practice Exam Questions 196 through 200 This video is part of our practice exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 196 a network administrator needs to configure a monitoring system to receive immediate alerts when a critical network device encounters an error or failure. Which of the following would best accomplish this? The answer is A. SNMP trap. An SNMP trap is an asynchronous notification sent from a network device to an SNMP management system when a specific event or failure occurs. Unlike SNMP polling, which requires the monitoring system to request data, traps allow devices to proactively report issues in real time, ensuring faster detection and response to critical events. Question 197. A network administrator wants devices to self-configure IPv6 addresses without using a DHCP server. The solution should allow devices to generate their own addresses based on router advertisements. Which of the following methods best meets this requirement? The answer is B, Slack. Slack or stateless address auto configuration allows IPv6 devices to automatically generate their own addresses using information provided by a router advertisement. This eliminates the need for a DHCP server, making it a simple and efficient method for assigning IPv6 addresses in a network. Slack provides devices with a globally unique address and default gateway information while maintaining minimal administrative overhead. Question 198. A company wants to enforce security policies that restrict access to corporate applications based on a user's physical location. Which of the following technologies would best achieve this? The answer is A. Geofencing. Geofencing creates a virtual boundary around a specific geographic area, allowing systems to enforce location-based access controls. When a device enters or exits the defined area, actions such as granting or restricting access can be triggered. This is commonly used for security enforcement, asset tracking, and location-based authentication policies. Question 199. A security team discovers that sensitive company documents were retrieved from discarded trash bins outside the office. Which of the following social engineering attacks does this scenario describe? The answer is C. Dumpster diving. Dumpster diving is a social engineering attack where an attacker searches through discarded documents, hardware, or other materials to find sensitive information. This could include passwords, financial records, employee data, or proprietary business plans. Proper disposal methods, such as shredding documents and securely wiping storage devices, helps prevent this type of attack. Question 200. A network technician is troubleshooting intermittent wireless connectivity issues in an office. They suspect interference from nearby networks and need a tool to analyze signal strength, channel usage, and potential sources of interference. Which of the following tools would best help diagnose the issue? The answer is A. Wi-Fi Analyzer. A Wi-Fi analyzer is used to scan wireless networks, providing insights into signal strength, channel utilization, interference, and overlapping networks. This helps technicians identify congested channels, rogue access points, and sources of interference, allowing them to optimize wireless performance and improve connectivity. Wow, you have completed 200 questions. How about one more question as a reward for your hard work? Question 201. A network technician needs to verify the IP address associated with the domain name and troubleshoot DNS resolution issues from the command line. Which of the following tools would best accomplish this task? The answer is D. NSLOOKUP. The NSLOOKUP command is used to query DNS servers and retrieve IP address information for a given domain name. It helps troubleshoot DNS resolution issues, verify domain to IP mappings, and check for misconfigured DNS settings. Congratulations on reaching the end of our CompTIA Network Plus practice exam. Your dedication and hard work are truly impressive. With this milestone behind you, you are now a bit closer to earning your Network Plus certification. 
The next step is to register for the official certification exam. While you've achieved so much already, some extra review can only help. So feel free to revisit our free training videos or take another shot at our practice exam anytime you want to ensure you're fully prepared. Remember, every step you take gets you closer to your goal. So stay confident, give it your best, and remember, we're rooting for you. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.